is uh, September 4th, 2010, and uh, we're going to speak today to a lovely lady who used to live on uh, North Merritt Island where the VAB is located. Uh, good, uh, good afternoon, and uh, so we're very happy to have you with us today to tell us a story about what it was living on North Merritt Island. So, what is your name, and what was your family uh, uh, like living on Merritt Island? My name is Evelyn Briggs Smith. I was born in 1926 in Titusville and of course my mama uh, went to Titusville for a few days until I was born and then we went back home. And uh, What was your mother and dad's name? My mother's name was Lena Benicky, and my dad's name was uh, Dor Briggs. He came from um, Michigan down here and uh, he met my mother and they got married and everywhere they went they had to walk and sometimes go across the creek in a boat and then walk for a, about four miles to where they wanted to go. Okay. Uh, what was his vocation? What did he do for a He living? did uh, fishing down here in okay. Florida. Mm -hmm. And do you remember, was it plentiful back then? There was lots of fish back in those days. And what did he mostly catch? Mullet. Mullet. Okay. That was our mainstay for food, mm -hmm. was mullet. Mm -hmm. And ducks in the wintertime, and coots. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course we ate sea turtle in season, and we ate sea cow, and uh, we even ate uh, soft-shell turtles, and uh, gophers. And what time period was this? What time was it? In well, um, back in the 30s, back in, in uh, oh. 30s and 40s. Okay. Um, I understand that uh, uh, also there was, uh, uh, life was good out there and there was plenty to eat. Uh, you had mentioned to me about eating sea grapes uh, and uh, uh, sea oats. So, uh, uh, talk, about, talk about eating some of the wild things on the oh, Okay. Uh, every year we used to go out and pick sea grapes and we would make sea grape jam. Mm. Very, very good. It's got kind of a brackish taste very different from anything else. And then we would go out uh, and pick uh, huckleberries. And they were a very, very low bush. And uh, the grass men would burn the, the, the woods a certain time of the year. And uh, that would is where we would get our good um, huckleberries. Mm -hmm. And we made pies and, and uh, jelly and all the good stuff. And then we also picked dewberries, and every time you'd go out, you would kill a rattlesnake. It don't matter when it was, and uh, we lived in rattlesnake heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever eat rattlesnake? Oh, no. No, no. no. I remember when I worked for Pan Am, there was a girl that brought some rattlesnake out there, but when it came time for them to eat it, I left. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, getting back to where you lived, um, describe what it looked like back then. Well, behind our home was a switchgrass uh, pond, a, a pond, and then my dad had built a uh, drag line out of an old car, um, uh, the axle and, and all of that, and then he ditched and made a ditch bank all the way around our place in a deep ditch because it was kind of low ground, but real good ground. And uh, I remember one year it was so dry that the the uh, mud in the pond, it cracked open. And Mama stood out there with a hoe in her hand, standing up, and you could just see the top of the hoe uh, above those um, careless weeds, they were called. Hmm. And... Uh, and then I've seen it to where we, after a hurricane, that from the, the whole creek down there that was overflow into the pickle grass, pickle weed, and uh, there was a, like a salt flat down by the creek. And you could take a boat on that uh, salt flat. That's how high the water was. Oh, um, uh, how, uh, you remember them building the house out there? Uh, well, our house burned down my first year of school, and uh, what year was that? Uh, I was I was born in 1926, and I was about eight, 
I was about seven years old when I started school. So it was my first year of school. I went to Wilson School. It was just a one-room schoolhouse on uh, the Titusville Causeway. And, and who was your teacher? Uh, Mr. Roberts. I don't remember his first name. But he was a good teacher. We'd go outside sometimes and, and play baseball or whatever, and uh, we'd stay out there for a little longer than normal. Was it a uh, one-room schoolhouse? One-room schoolhouse. Uh, we had probably from the, the first grade through, uh, I don't know, six or whatever it was. I don't remember. But my oldest brother, he drove the school bus and uh, picked a bunch of us kids up. And then he would come on to Titusville because he was the oldest and he had already you know gotten to a higher grade of school but the rest of us went out there to uh, Wilson. Wilson. Uh, uh, do you remember uh, who, who were some of your classmates uh, that you went to school oh, with? Oh let's see there was um, the Griffiths girls Flora and, and uh, Viola and then there was um, mm, Sherman Griffiths and uh, yes. Was it William? I can't remember his name right at right offhand. Now they but there were several of them. Now, did they live in Shiloh? No, they in, lived on the Titusville Causeway. On the Titusville Causeway. And okay. then um, I don't remember if the Fudge girls went to school with us there or not. Any of them? I just can't remember everybody that went there. Okay. Uh, do you remember when Wilson had a post office? Did they have a post office when you were there? And, and I the, was. That was store? my first grade, so I was kind of young, oh, and okay. I don't know. And, and and whether they got a post office later years or not, I don't know. Do you re, do you know? Remember if there was a, uh, if there at that time if there was a store out there at Wilson's Corner? No, there was no no, no, no store. store. Okay. No. And how many people uh, about lived in Wilson? Well, there was um, a Johnson's lived across the street and a little bit east, and Mr. Hazelwood lived right on the corner of a road, and I don't know the name of that road, but it was it was um, he had a big house there, and then uh, Mr. Schnapp, he lived uh, there was a, a road bed going south, at that corner, and he lived way down that road. Hmm. And we're talking approximately where the corner of State Road Three. Uh, and 406 that, that was um no, that was west of State Road Three. It was west. Yeah, of a State few Road miles Street. west okay. of uh, State Road Three. Okay, and and uh, the school was located on the north side. The on the south side. South side of uh, of the Titusville Causeway. Of the Titusville Causeway. Mm -hmm. Oh. And they used to have uh, it was a community building also. They would have dances there and whatever they did. To, there. Mm -hmm. I remember we used to have square dances there and my cousins, the Benickies, used to go there. And I, I think my uh, cousins went to school there. I'm not sure when they first started school. Mm -hmm. um, uh, did you and your brothers and sisters uh, go to the beach a lot? Oh, we used to have a lot of, uh, of uh, winter roasts out on the beach. And um, I remember one time we were <laughs> playing out there uh, can't remember the name of the game. Anyhow, everybody would get in a circle, and you'd one person was running around. They'd tag somebody, and you'd run around, and then the other person would try to catch them. Well, somehow or other, I got going the wrong way, and me and my cousin run into heads, and he said, "You have got a rock in your head." <laughs> <laughs> that was June. You know June. Uh, what What do you remember about your grandparents? Who were your grandparents? Um, I can barely remember my mama's dad. I did not know uh, her mother or stepmother because they had died before. But I remember him. He he always stood real straight, proud man, and long beard. What was his name? His name was. Um, Henry um, Henry Benicky. They was it Johan or something like? That? I can't remember. They were, had a, he was from Germany. Henry was from Germany. Yeah. And what was his vocation? Oh, he he made musical instruments. Oh. And he played. He had a big piano that took up a whole room, and uh, there was only two of them in the United States. And he played that piano. Oh. He made zither and played it, and um, a cousin, uh, nephew, or 
a niece of mine, I think, has that zither. And uh, he made guns. He taught school. He made uh, boats. And his wife made sa made the sails. Oh my! All all out on North Carolina. Yes, Island. yes. He he did all of that. Oh he was a very, goodness. very wise man. It sounds like it. Uh, uh, what uh, did they ha did they have a vegetable garden? Did your did your p grandparents and your parents have vegetable gardens? Yeah, they they grew stuff. They had bees. And, oh, they uh, had bees. Oh, they had bees too. A and so you had uh, mm -hmm. uh, your own honey. Uh, yeah, they had their own. And and we when I was growing up, we had our own bees. We had about forty colonies, I think, maybe three stories high. We worked in those bees two weeks at a time, twice a year. Oh my! And we had to turn the extractor by hand, but uh, and get stung quite often. <laughs> uh -huh. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Do uh, do uh, uh, do, where did the bees make their honey from the from the groves from the uh, orange well, groves? Well, people some people would move their bees like to where the orange groves were or maybe out to get the palmetto honey yeah. or then you've got your wild uh, flowers and whatever but to me my mama used to take honey to the uh, fair and she's got blue ribbons on it and uh, palmetto honey everybody doesn't know about palmetto honey because you don't find it very often but to me it's the best honey there is out of the uh, blossom that comes on the palmetto. Yes, mm -hmm. and they still make medicine out of that palmetto berry, you know. Yes, I, I know. Uh, in fact, there was a gentleman, Mr. Uh, Terrian, who lived on Pier Road over at Cape Canaveral, uh, and I believe another Mr. Ryan uh, at, at Cape Canaveral that used to make honey. Okay. Out of the, uh, excuse me, not honey, uh, the palmetto berry. The palmetto berry, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, did you have citrus? Yes, we had uh, lemon trees, we had a few grapefruit tree and uh, orange trees. And I don't remember if we had a tangerine tree or not, but and we had a sour orange tree. And we always had fun when the uh, snowbird friends would come down. Oh, they looked so pretty, you'd give them one. <laughs> and you know what a sour orange tastes like. <laughs> yeah. They were so proud. Uh, what did you do, uh, uh, what did your family do when someone got sick on the island? Well, we didn't go to the doctor unless you knew you had to. Um, my brother one time, well, our house burned down when I went the first year of school. Then we had a little old shack where we did the, the took care of the honey. We lived in that little old shack for a while, a few years. And my brother slept upstairs in the old shop. And there was a gate. They would let it down to keep the wildcats or any kind of wild animals from coming up to them. But anyhow, um, my brother had gone up to the, where the house was, where it had burned, to feed the chickens. Well, they were kind of acting up, but he couldn't see nothing. So when he came back through, a, a ground rattler bit him. And so Mama and uh, my older brother, uh, they were going to take him to Titusville. She, as I remember, she cut that and put permanganate of potash on it. That, that's what I remember. Mm. But it's, I, I don't really know um, the all the rest of the details on that. I don't remember. But it seemed like she told me that it, it seemed like she didn't really need to take him to the doctor. But he never did really get sick. I don't know the details on that. I can't remember. Uh, a lot of the home remedies really worked back then. Oh, yes. They uh -huh. used plants and they yeah. used, I understand, they used spider webs to coagulate blood when you got cut. Yeah, I've and, heard those uh, stories. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, what, uh, what is your fondest memory of your grandparents? Well, my uh, daddy's mother lived with her daughter who had... Uh, two children, a boy and a girl. And what were their names? Their name um, was, was uh, she was Harriet uh, Harriet Briggs. Now, my grandfather, I just barely remember him. And he had, I remember the room that he was in when he was sick. I was quite young. And I remember he had a beard, of course. 
and I remember the room he died in. But anyhow, my grandmother lived there with my aunt and her two kids. And we used to go over there most every Christmas. And, and a lot of times we would go by boat over there. Oh my. How, what, 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 what kind of experience was that going by boat? Now you're talking about a little rowboat? Oh, no, or well, Daddy, cat boat? back them days we called them a launch. Okay, a launch. It had a cabin on it and he would put a, a car motor in the boat. And that was the kind of engine it would have. Oh my goodness. And that's how we went. So you went from Merritt Island. Mm -hmm. They're at Banana Creek. At Banana Creek. Mm -hmm. Where the VAB building is. Okay. Go through Banana Creek and then across the uh, Indian River. To, 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 uh, to Indian River City. Oh, to Indian River mm -hmm. City. And oh. the house is still there. It's right at the light. Is That's J.C. Penny or is it Sears? It's the house is still there. It's been refurbished. It looks a square kind of, you know, but uh, it's it's the driveway is right there where the light is, and uh, huh. at the Indian River City. At Indian River City. Yeah. What were their names? Elmer. El Elmer, and Harriet Briggs. Elmer and Harriet mm -hmm. Briggs. And, and my aunt's name was um, Lila Rose. Lila Rose. Okay. Um, what, uh, uh, getting back to, uh, you said that they were in the fishing business. Uh, 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 were they commercial fishermen? Yes, that was commercial fishing. Okay, what was, uh, do you remember uh, uh, what was a typical day? Uh, like, for instance, they'd go out in the launch and uh, set nets or whatever, and then uh, how did, how, what was a typical routine for that? Well, sometimes they would set the net and leave it, uh, I guess, and then go back and pull it in. And then there would be times uh, that they would, you know, drag, they'd call it drag the net in, and then they would drag it and, and then pull all your fish in. And they drag it into a circle. And, and, and this was fish. mostly mullet back then? Uh, mostly mullet. You, they'd catch bass and trout. Okay. And, and they took it to market? They sold it? And, yes. Uh, okay. And Daddy uh, oftentimes took the fish to um, and honey to Orlando or to Sanford and uh, paddled fish mm -hmm. and by that I mean house to house and whatnot and people would come out and buy the honey and and fish yeah. and then on the way daddy would uh, they did a lot of farming in Sanford and he would uh, stop and buy uh, vegetables sometimes maybe cabbage in season he would even buy celery and um, we would can celery because you could use it in soup and whatnot because we canned stuff that would last us all year, you know. And we would make sauerkraut in a, like a 40-gallon uh, uh, Coca-Cola barrel. We used to get the barrels and scrape that old wax out and then we would re-wax it with paraffin or else beeswax. And then uh, we would use that for honey barrels also for our honey and then we would also make uh, sauerkraut in those. Now you're talking you said cook old Coca-Cola barrels. Mm -hmm. What was what was what was uh, Coca-Cola? Well, that would be the syrup. The syrup mm -hmm. was in a Coca-Cola barrel. Yeah, they now, came in like 40 or 50 gallon barrels. And and why would you buy 40 uh, a 40 uh, gallon ba barrel, barrel of Coca-Cola syrup. Well, we didn't. It was just oh, the barrel, I just see. the barrel to to to, oh, to make see. the sauerkraut in. Uh, they took the uh, top out of it. I see. And then uh, you'd put your sauerkraut in there. You know, your cabbage and your salt, and push it down, and then put your leaves on top of it, and put a weight, and then leave it set for I think a couple of weeks or something like that. And then we'd go in there and get a handful of that out and eat it, and it was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good. Uh, your uh, uh, and who was your mama again? Uh, Lena. Okay. Uh, Benicky. Okay. And what is your fondest memory of mama? Did oh. she grow roses? Yes, she did. She oh flowers. She always had a bunch of flowers out, and always started her own vegetable, you know, her uh, plants to plant a vegetable garden. And I bet she had roses. Tell me about yes, her roses. Yes, she had garden. roses. And uh, 
Why were they so big, you think? Well, we put the wash water on them. When we <laughs> wash clothes, we would carry the wash water around and put on them, and they were so huge. Mm -hmm. And they smelled good, too? Oh, yes. Back then, they had a good smell to them. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, what uh, I understand that, uh, that you had a uh, sugar uh, kettle. An old yeah, an sugar, old syrup kettle. An old syrup yes, kettle. we did. I had an old <laughs> syrup kettle. We used to get on that thing and, and kind of play around on it. And whatever happened to that syrup kettle? Well, Remember? it's buried somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, for safekeeping, right? Yes. Yeah. What was it like during a hurricane in the in the old days? Uh, do you remember when you were a child that a hurricane came through oh, here yes, in the thirties? What What happened? I can remember. We had a windmill. We never did have a well, but we had the windmill. And I remember one, and I used to go in there to play with my dolls. We kept the chicken feed in there and all of this kind of stuff, you know. But uh, this hurricane, it tore that thing and it fell piece by piece. We watched it fall. How did you know a hurricane was coming back then? Well, we did have a radio, but you had to bring the car up close enough that you could take the wires and hook it up to the battery. <laughs> if the car wasn't there, you didn't have a radio. <laughs> but uh, I remember the kids at school, when I was in elementary school, they would talk about, well, aren't you afraid to stay on Merritt Island with a hurricane coming? So I guess maybe there was people had radios or how they found out, I don't know. Hmm. But anyhow, we knew they were coming. No, we were never afraid to stay there. Hmm. How about, uh, uh, do you remember winters being cold? Oh, yes. And what did you do? I remember uh, my first year of school, I wore long handles, and uh, the back side had buttons. <laughs> <laughs> I wore these long stockings, and it was cold back then, and I can remember the ditches being frozen. I can remember the Banana Creek being frozen, and my daddy and brothers, picked up frozen fish and uh, of course they were good they were frozen yeah yeah it, that's interesting and, uh, i got that cold i don't know whether they sold them or what really you know i don't know hmm. but anyhow i remember that and i can remember going to school and the pump was froze and i remember one time the old wooden Hot belly stole, stove got knocked over there at school before the teacher got there. But, you know, I don't remember whether it was had a fire in it or it was before the fire got started in it or what. <laughs> but I remember that happening. <laughs> uh, what, what are some of the games that you used to play as, you, as a oh, child? Well, now, there was a game that we used to play. It was a string. Everybody would sit in a big circle. And it was a string, and you'd put a ring on that, and you'd, uh, you know, pass that ring around to people, and there'd be somebody in the middle, and try to figure out who's got the ring, and then if you'd find them, then you'd sit down, and they'd get in the ring, <laughs> and um, musical chairs we played a lot, and our place was the gathering place. It was Mom and Papa Briggs, <laughs> and. Uh, um, we made ice cream a lot. We had two ice cream churns, you know, that you had to turn. Oh, yeah. And uh, we did that a lot. And uh, there's been times that we'd, we had barrels at the eaves, the corner of the house, you know, to catch rain, rain barrels. water. Rain barrels. We've even been known to empty them having water fights. <laughs> Uh, uh, did you have uh, running water uh, uh, out there? No, we had a cistern. Okay. And then at the end of the house, we had a big tank, which water would come off of the roof, you know, and, and catch that. And that's what we used for drinking water. And then out of the cistern, we used for the animals and clothes and for washing hands and taking a bath. And we'd get the wash tub and bring it in on the weekend and take a bath, and otherwise you'd <laughs> just spit bath. <laughs> yeah. uh, what was that? Uh, did, do you remember your grandma or, and your your mother doing laundry on uh, uh, laundry uh, on Mondays? What was laundry? I don't only like, do remember, remember them doing it. I remember me helping <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on the scrub board and the and the wash pot. 
Uh, okay. Uh, describe what it was like during laundry on Monday. Well, you'd have to get the wood and build the fire and get that going, and then you'd have this big old wash pot. You'd uh, fill it with water, dip it out of the cistern, and fill the wash pot, and then you put your clothes in there, boil them, poke them down, and then you'd scrub them on the scrub board and <laughs> rinse them. And if it didn't rain, if it and you used all of your water up, and it didn't rain, you'd have to, we went about a quarter of a mile and had a, a big barrel in the uh, rumble seat part of the uh, vehicle and go about a quarter of a mile to the old Briggs homestead and pump water, fill that barrel and bring it home. And that's what we did to wash clothes and feed the, the cow and the pigs, anything. Wash hands, wash clothes. So it was an all day yes. affair, just about. Then. Yeah, it was. It was hard work back in them days. Did the when you were a child, uh, you you shared in a lot of the household chores. Oh yes, um, we did. Um, yes, we did everything. We weeded the garden. We planted seeds, and we watered. We'd go down to the ditch with a um, a can or whatever bucket or whatever, and uh, used to uh, to water the garden if if we planted. You know. Plants. Mm -hmm. um, let's uh, let's talk about Happy Creek a little bit. Uh, where where was Happy Creek relative to where you lived, uh, where the VAB is situated now? Where was Happy Creek? Okay, it uh, it was north of us, and the fact is, it'd be easier to say it was just south of the um, Titusville Causeway. There was a big hammock that was called Happy Hammock, and um, then Happy Creek, um, I guess it was came off of uh, uh, Banana Creek or what, I'm not sure. But it was called Happy Creek up there with the head of that uh, little creek. And that's where my mama was raised. That's where her uh, dad settled. And um, I understand that uh, this, them or somebody else, I don't know who, grew sugar cane. And that they kind of made, uh, uh, what do you call it? Pooch. <laughs> Pooch or something. <laughs> and uh, everybody was happy and they called it Happy Creek. Is that right? They called it Happy Creek. Uh, do you remember them telling you any stories, uh, your mama telling you stories about when she was a child and lived at Happy Creek? Oh, yes. Uh, I remember her and um, my daddy's sisters. They had, there was an old house there in the Happy Hammock. And of course, windows are out and all of this. I, it must have been there for a few years. Anyhow, they wandered around the woods and whatnot all. Well, here they saw some, there was wildcats in this old house. And they started running for home. Well, my, uh, one of her sisters stumbled and said, hey, wait for me, wait for me. <laughs> But this is the type of thing that they would run into because there was a lot of wild animals back in them days. Mm -hmm. And then one time, uh, one of Mama's sisters had walked through the hammock and, and to a friend's house just on the, nor on the uh, north side of the hammock. And she said, I don't know whether I'll come back tonight or whether I won't. Well, anyhow, I guess my grandfather had heard the panther scream or something happened. Why he went out looking for the, this panther because, uh, you know, he didn't know whether she was coming or not. And he found the panther, he shot, but he, he, he trailed him the next day. But uh, I don't think he, I, I don't know whether he ever found him or not, but they, I remember them telling the story about uh, him shooting the panther. Did uh, did uh, they ever tell you any stories about any alligators? Oh yes, my mom and her sister used to catch alligators. I can't remember which one of the sisters it was, whether it was Aunt Lily or uh, Aunt Rose. I'm not sure which one of them it was. And she fell, in, my mama fell into the alligator nest and her sister pulled her out. I think it was Aunt Rose. But they used to uh, catch the the baby alligators and sell them to the uh, snowbirds when they came down. They had, had a way of making uh, 
a little <laughs> bit of spending money. Isn't that something? Do you uh, do you remember uh, the story about Uncle Dudley? Who Uncle Dudley was? Who is Uncle Lily? Huh? Lily. Oh, I didn't know she was called Uncle Oh, Dudley. Yeah, she, you don't remember her writing the stories for... Not really. Trading. No, uh-uh. Oh, okay. I don't that remember was, that. Okay. Your mother's sister. I don't remember that. Oh, okay. How about the boys? What do you remember about the boys? At, at, why is June called June? Well, because they they had... Uh, now, who are you talking about, first of all? Okay, who, who am I talking yeah, I'm right. talking about my... Uh, my uh, Uncle Herman and Aunt Mary, they wanted a daughter, and they had two boys. And wh who were, and what were their names? Their name was Henry and uh, Ray, and they wanted a girl. Well, it came along, it was a boy, so they named him June, is the way I understand it. <laughs> <laughs> and how did June feel about that? <laughs> well, I never heard it. June uh, Carroll, I think, was his name. June Carroll. Yeah, he was, he's... Um, about eight or nine months younger than I. Okay. And what did those boys do for a living? As they they fished. Okay. They fished. And June, my cousin, he was just a little younger than me. He used to take um, hunting parties out when he was about 16 years old. So he was a guide. 16. He yeah. was a guide. Oh. He, he took hunting uh, parties. Do you remember any stories about where they used to go hunt, hunting and what they caught? Well, I remember one place, Flatboat. They used to go hunting a lot. In fact, is in uh, Thanksgiving, um, my uncle Herman and his family, and then my aunt, who lived in the old homestead where my mama was and then was raised at Happy Creek. At Happy yeah. Creek, they would take their boats, and we'd take our boats and family and whatnot. And of course, we'd cut palmetto cabbage and have palmetto cabbage and potato salad, and then the, we'd go to Moore Creek. And uh, the men folks would go shoot some ducks and coots, and we'd clean them right out there and cook them. Mm -hmm. And it was just fantastic. And I used, my aunt used to chase me, or I chased her through the pickle weed. <laughs> we used to have a lot of fun. She always was laughing, and she was a wonderful person. How, I, 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 how did you how did you prepare them? Did you fry them, fry them, or roast them, or because oh. you were outdoors, right? Yeah. Do you remember? Well, I guess I know what Mama used to fry the breast. They probably fried them out there, yeah. mm -hmm. and and uh, and she would um, pot roast them. What she called pot roasted. She'd put uh, some grease in the skillet and put the your duck or your coot in there, and she'd sprinkle a little sugar over them, and then and cook them, and put a little water on them and cook them down, cover them up, cook them down, and then put a little more water on, cook them down, until they were done, and they'd have all of that good, sweet stuff on them, and they were delicious. Ain't nobody could cook like my mama. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty uh, pretty good to me. Uh, 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 do you remember uh, Do you remember them baking? Uh, and what was your favorite thing that they baked? Oh, mama always baked bread. Very seldom did we ever buy baker's bread. And, uh, and she, of course, she made her own pies, cobblers, and uh, and we picked uh, elderberries and made jelly, and, and we, of course, uh, grapes, we made grape jelly and grape juice, these wild grapes, and they grew everywhere. We'd get up on top of the car and reach them and all this kind of stuff. You had mentioned that you uh, that you ate sea oats. No, we no, no. You didn't have not sea oats. not okay. sea oats. The okay. sea grapes. Sea grapes. Mm -hmm. Sea grapes. Okay. Um, let me ask you this: um, uh, What? Uh, uh, where was the churches uh, uh, you had mentioned, Orsino Church? Uh, did, were there any churches on the island back then that anyone attended? Um, well, not okay. down towards where we lived, but there was the uh, down at Orsino. There was a community building, and that's where we went to church, and there was. Um, the schoolhouse also. I talked my parents in letting me go down there. It was during the fifth grade of school. And uh, I went to school with Roy Roberts and Poland girls, I think, and I can't remember. Christy girl, maybe. I can't remember who all. And, um, 
and then uh, it was used as, um, you know, sometimes get-togethers where we'd have just parties or whatever, you know. And then they built a church just west of that community building. And uh, Mr. Elliot, what was his, I can't remember his first name, he donated the property. And his uh, daughter, Kate Elliot, lived with him there in the house. And um, Daddy and um, a fellow by the name of Newcomb and his son, uh, they helped build that church. And Christy, uh, Jim Christy and his wife, they were there at that time and they helped build that church. Did you have uh, did you have automobiles? We had an old Model A. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, with a rumble seat? We, we also, yeah, we had a, I think that was a Model A too that had a rumble seat and then one time we had a, a two-seater mm -hmm. and um, and that's what, that's the car. I learned to drive on an old Willis Knight but I drove that old a Model A to Orlando, my first trip away from Titusville. Oh boy, <laughs> what an adventure. <laughs> it was. <laughs> uh, do you ever remember uh, riding the train? Did you ever ride the train? It seems like I did, but I, I can't remember too much about the riding the train. Did you ever remember anybody telling you about they took the train to Jacksonville or down to West Palm or, or from Titusville to Coco? Do you remember? remember not really, not too much, huh? Okay. Not about that. See, I was just an old country girl. Okay. So, so, and you had to come to Titusville to get the train yeah. anyhow, right? Yeah. Right. So, uh, what was your... Uh, 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 mode of um, uh, of uh, transportation then mostly over on the island. Although uh, you did a lot of walking, or did you have uh, in the uh, when you were little? I'm talking. About. Yeah. Well, our closest neighbor was about two miles. And who was that? That was uh, uh, Jim and um, Julia Christie, and they had a son, Jimmy Christie, and a daughter, Edwina Christie. And we used to, and of course there was nothing but sand ruts uh, going down there. It was a roadbed. No and pay, no pay. No pay, oh no, huh? No pay and then it had sand spurs too, and of course we were usually barefoot. Sand get hot. <laughs> We'd use an elephant ear to hold, but it would soon wilt. <laughs> Uh, uh, who is Zany O'Berry? Zany O'Berry. Okay, they uh, were friends that came from Orlando. And uh, they lived down in a boat at the creek for a while. And they bought a piece of land. I don't know how many, how much of it they bought from the old Briggs homestead. I don't know whether they bought it from Daddy or from... His parents, I don't know who owned that land at that time, but anyhow, then we all went with our machetes and axes and everything, cleaned out a place for them to build a house. Hmm. And uh, they lived they live there at Happy Creek? Uh, no, no, or, that or was off of, of Banana Creek, oh, oh, okay. mm -hmm. just, Banana just south Creek. of us, okay. just, just south, south of, of our you. place. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, when you say uh, where the old uh, off of Banana Creek, you're talking about, uh, you're talking about over... Uh, uh, in relationship to where State Road 3 is now. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about over in that area. Was the Barge Canal there uh, uh, up on the... Okay, the That's Barge right. Canal was There's down at Merritt. More, more south. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, down at Merritt. So you're talking up near Racino. Yeah, we Merritt. were four miles. The, the, four uh, miles. The, yeah, Banana Creek is about four miles north of Orsino. Okay. Okay. And uh, do you remember when they put the bridge in up there? Or, or was there always a bridge? Well, I don't Creek? remember. No, I, it was put in, I guess, before I was born. Now, I remember the second bridge they built, yeah. Okay. The first one was an old humpback bridge, okay. and then they built the other one. Okay. And do you remember about what time that was? Um, gee, I couldn't tell you what, no, I couldn't tell you what year that was at all. Okay. Um, you, um, uh, when, when, um, when you lived on Merritt, North Merritt Island, um, uh, do you remember anything about, 
the uh, was the Allenhurst Hotel still there over at the Holliver? Or? I have been up there and whatnot all, but. I remember there was one, but I don't really remember that much about that area. That I know school? we, if the bridge was out at Titusville, to go to school, we had to go all the way through there and on up uh, just this side of, uh, just south of Oak Hill, and then go back to Titusville. That and then we picked up around. kids, <laughs> we had to pick up kids around the uh, outskirts of Titusville, too, when we got over there. Oh. So we had a good distance to go. And who who was the um, bus driver? Selby Bailey was a bus driver uh, to begin with, and then um, Barney Barnes. Barney Barnes. And both of them were wonderful. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you remember a, a guy named uh, uh, Carl Battle, or was that before that? Um, Mrs. Mrs. Battle. Battle, I don't know whether that's his wife or yes. what. She was a school teacher yes. of mine. She was a very good school teacher, but she made me a lot of times wish the floor would open up and take me. <laughs> <laughs> she was. She taught my oldest brother and and other brothers, you know. But yes, yeah, she was a good teacher and all. Uh, what about the holidays? Was Fourth of July a big thing? Do you remember the Fourth of July? Um, did you remember the parades or anything in Titusville? Did you come to, or did you no, have No, sometimes going we didn't always have a way to get over here to Titusville. But uh, on Halloween, when they had doings at school, sometimes we would go to that. I would like to have gone out for basketball, but of course, no way to get over here. So it was, it was actually pretty isolated uh, yeah, living on the Yeah, we were island. pretty isolated. Now, my kid brother, uh, he's Leland Briggs, he's about nine years younger than I. Well, he had an old jalopy that he drove, you know, and went out for football, and he somehow could keep it running and whatnot all, but he got back and forth. Uh, uh, did they have uh, beach buggies back then? Oh, yes. My one uh, brother, he uh, always had a beach buggy, it always working on it. And they used to go out and get sea turtles, yeah. yeah. I understand that was fun riding the beach. Uh, oh yes, oh we used to love to ride the fender <laughs> and sit on the back of the thing and hang our feet down. You had to be careful if you'd hit something with your feet, that didn't feel good. <laughs> ride the running board. Oh, that was all fun. Kids don't get that these days. Of course, you'd get a throat in jail if you did. <laughs> uh, how about, did you ever s swim in the ocean at night over on the beach? Oh, yeah, the I've been in the ocean. Do you remember the efflorescence? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, oh, tell yeah. me about that. What was oh, that you like? can kick your feet and it just sparkles. And even in the creek. See, when you oh, go at, at night uh, on the boat, in the skiff or anything, yeah, there'd be a lot of sparkles. I don't know whether there still is or not because I don't go over there anymore like yeah, that. In the lagoon, in, in the lagoon, there's still effervescence. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, how about the how about the the water? Uh, uh, wasn't it just beautiful and clear back then? Yeah, it was nice. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, and fireflies. Oh, there was fireflies everywhere. We used to catch them and put them in jars. Yeah. Make little lanterns. Oh actually. yeah, was that was fun. Yeah. Did, yeah. Did you ever make rings and earrings? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, how about how about uh, uh, how about um, uh, on on the beach? Uh, uh, was the water uh, was the water always uh, warm in the summertime and 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 uh, in the winter time? Or uh, do you remember when you went swimming uh, in the river? In the river, was it always clear and warm? Or it you know? wasn't always clear. I learned to uh, swim in Banana Creek. And Banana Creek. Yeah, but there was a lot of stingrays around where we, Daddy, had built a, a fish house down by the creek, and, and of course he built a dock, and uh, there was a lot of stingrays, and I learned to swim there, but. Uh, 
The water wasn't wasn't clear. No, it was. It was. It wasn't real clear. It, not uh -huh. no. The, the water there is just not that clear, huh. like you have in some places. Yeah. Um, is there anything that you can remember uh, later on? Say, how what what was it like in the in the depression? Do you remember? You were young, I know, but do you remember what what your mama did and Lena did during the depression? Well, we always grew everything we ate, and we canned every year, every, you know, from the garden. And uh, Mama used to take uh, vegetables and all to Titusville, and there was the Dixie Diner there. It was an old uh, uh, box car, I think you call it, any an old train. I think the Nelsons had that. Nelson, oh, yes. Yeah. She, uh, and my grandmother, um, Harriet Briggs used to work there with her a lot, yeah. and uh, so she made my mama made a little money that way. And but my mama could make a meal, take nothing and make a meal out of it. I've eaten much uh, biscuit and gravy, and uh, things like that. But potato soup, yeah, <laughs> potato soup and Sometimes. tomato soup with crackers in it, yeah. and uh, yeah. just all kind of things. How about the war years? What were the war years like? Do you remember that? Um, the boys going off to war. Yeah, Daddy, uh, of course, went to Orlando and got a job in a foundry. And um, that summer, we all went over to Orlando and, and lived. And I worked at uh, Grant's, W.T. Grant, that summer. And her, we had a little old trailer that her dad, uh, Barbara's dad, um, had gone to college in. He built it, him and Daddy built it ah. for him to go to college up at uh, Gainesville. So you lived there during the And we years. lived in that little old thing of, in the backyard. I, I slept in it, but um, we had rented a house there. It was on Virginia Drive at Strange Hour, remember that? Isn't that something? <laughs> when, uh, when, did, uh, when did you get married? 1948, June the 8th, 1948. And where did you get married? In uh, Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania? Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Punxsutawney Phil. Yep. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's the claim to fame in Punxsutawney Phil. Um, what, um, and, and then where did you go off to live? Did you live? We lived there about two years. Okay. Beautiful place there in, in Punxsutawney. And, uh, Okay. Then we came back to Florida. Okay. Um, uh, when when uh, did you all get uh, 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 notice that uh, the family had to leave uh, leave the island uh, when NASA took over? I don't remember. Mama di Mama died in 1956, and she. Yeah, Daddy was 1953 and Mama from 1956. And so she had moved and built that little water construction house down at Merritt. It was called Merritt then. Um, on Cla McLeod Street, wasn't it? I, don't was it I think Ma so. I think it was McLeod. And uh, she lived down there. She died in 1956, so... Um, with a, what year was, she... Was Floyd living on the island there? Can't... I don't... I can't remember. Ray and June were living there. Ray and... and June living up on Bellwood, you mean? No, well, they were living in Happy Creek. Oh, they were still at Happy Creek. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I don't know. Did you... Yeah. So your mother had not was not living there. No, I can't remember exactly. Okay. So you don't rem you don't remember what happened when they had to move off of the island. Uh, oh well, Mama sold Mama sold the place when she moved after Daddy died. But I can't remember whether it was maybe a year after or two years. Okay. But it had to be pretty soon because it wasn't that many years after he died that she died. Mm -hmm. And uh, so. Yeah, Dad had an old, big old flatbed truck, and that's what we moved everything from there down to my house. Okay. And um, uh, on uh, Lucas, 
there on, on at Merritt. So, so uh, when NASA bought the property in sixty, no, NASA. Well, oh. she sold it to. Um, um, oh, she sold it to somebody yeah, else. Yeah, she sold it to. Um, oh, Lolly. Ah, uh, Arthur Lolly, I think, and. Um, okay. So, so they, they they painted it red, and they, I think they saw, they sold uh, uh, liquor and whatnot there. Okay. Do you, do you remember the fish camp that was out there? Yeah, that was Oscar Futch had a fish camp on the north end of the bridge there, northwest corner of the bridge. Yeah, yeah. yeah Oscar Futch. Oscar Futch. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, and there was another fish camp I think out at Holliver too. Uh, I mean, excuse me, at uh, Clifton, uh, over at Beacon 42. Uh, do you remember uh, Fish Camp being up there? At I Beacon don't 42? know much about that up okay, there. Okay, that was too far up. Yeah, uh, that was, was that out of Playland out? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think yeah. that's after I left home. Okay. And, yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Well, is there anything else that uh, you would like to tell me about your family that uh, would be important to as a, a legacy to the family uh, of uh, Briggs um, uh, to your uh, to uh, your grandparents or to Lena or to uh, Lily uh, anything well um, to any of the boys <laughs> yeah think of a lot but my mom and I used to um, of course you wore your boots you know took a shotgun, we took our buckets, and we went out to Flatboat Creek. And you reach up under the bank and you get those, um, clam we call them clams, mussels, that's what they really are. And uh, take them home. Of course, you always took your shotgun, you never know when there's a rattlesnake or a wildcat or something going to come around, you know. But you couldn't pay me to reach my hand up under there now, but that was our <laughs> way of life. <laughs> and it was pretty hardy, and you lived to tell about it, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so, um, uh, in uh, in uh, your memories uh, 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 about Happy Creek and living uh, over on the island, uh, uh, what what would you say uh, uh, in in summary about that? They were happy times, good times. Oh so. yes, they were happy times, good times bad times, lonely times, and times when you'd want to go somewhere and how do you go, you either walk or stay home. And so uh, when we got to go to a movie, it was a big treat. Did you go to Magnolia Theater in Titus? In Titus, State? that's where we went Did when we got to go. Uh -huh. and, uh, do you remember what that looked like by any chance inside? Do you, can you remember? Mr. Johnson had that. Oh, I don't know Bert who Johnson. owned it even. Bert Johnson. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. No, it's just uh, uh, You can't remember. Big. What, uh, do you remember any of the movies that you saw in there? Oh, land. Any of course, I think it's The Lone Ranger and what, uh, <laughs> some of them, no, I couldn't tell you the names of them. Yeah, that was a long time ago. But, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Do, do you ever me remember uh, going to uh, coming to Titusville and some of the stores that were in town? Uh, yes, A and P. I think the A and P is where the museum is now, uh -huh. and of course the Davis Drug Store, mm -hmm. and uh, the bank is still where it was, and um, the Pertle Garage. I remember it being across there, and uh, our school bus uh, when I went to high school. Well, uh, we would uh, catch the bus down by the the uh, Titusville Causeway, Garden Street. Garden Street. The, the bus would go out around town and take kids, you know, and drop them off. And then we'd meet the bus as it came down there and go on. If you had to buy anything from the store, or just wanted to do that. And my cousin Johnny Stalter, he worked at the Coca-Cola plant. And um, we'd stop there, and uh, you know, back in them days, they had bottles, and they'd look at them, and do it. And if they didn't look just right, they wouldn't put them up there. Whatever, I don't know what it was, but anyhow, sometimes he'd give us a bottle. Do you have any? And that was a big, that was, <laughs> that was a, a big, big treat to have that bottle of Coke. Believe me. Mm -hmm. Do you have any bottles? 
<laughs> the old uh, bottles? Not really. No. I, so I many that. things I've thought. I hated the old flat irons and everything, you know. And now I think, you know, I should have kept them. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those would be worth the money. To yeah. Uh, well, I want to thank you very much uh, for coming today and sharing your stories about living on the island and uh, what it was like at Happy Creek and Orsino and uh, Wilson and, uh, and your, your wonderful family of uh, Briggs and Benneke. Well, thank you, and I certainly have enjoyed it. Okay. Oh, one thing we forgot. Uh, uh, list uh, your uh, brothers and sisters' names. Okay, I had, um, I think there were seven of us. There was Everett uh, Briggs. He was, um, he had, uh, well, I'll just skip the, all of their kids. There were okay. Gail and, no. and uh, Celia and Barbara and, and Leslie. Is that all up? Shirley. That Shirley. Oh, okay. She was Shirley was the oldest. Okay. okay, there was Everett and then there was Leslie. And he was killed in an auto accident. They were on the beach uh, turtle hunting. And this drunk came along and hit him. Anyhow, then there was Floyd and Lloyd. They were twins. And then there was Harvey. And then there was me. And then nine years later, there came my brother. Oh, and what Leland was Briggs. Leland, yeah. okay. And he and I are the only ones left. Okay, and where does Leland live? He lives in uh, Port Orange now. He has worked all over the world. Okay, and where do you live? I live in Cocoa. Okay, okay. And, uh, uh, and uh, where are all your siblings buried? Are they buried in the area? or in, On they... Garden Street. Uh, what's the name of that cemetery? I can't remember now. Oaklawn. Oaklawn okay. uh, Memorial Gardens, right. yes. Okay, and how about your grandparents? Um, they are buried there also, all of them, I think. All of them? Mm -hmm. Okay. In a family plot, or are they scattered? Uh, or... Yeah, there's a family plot there. Mm -hmm. I have my plot there, and my kids do, and I have aunts buried there, and and uh, even up at, the, uh, at um, Mims area, at that little tiny church up there, I the have uh, some kin folks buried there. Okay. That's, that's one of the oldest churches yeah. on the East Coast, yeah. too. Is it? Yes. A very historic place. Well, thank you again, and uh, we'll be talking to you again sometime. Thank you. I enjoyed it.